So I wanted to show this thing actually printing a first layer across the whole bed that was, um, the bed mesh was calibrated with the contact sensor. I haven't changed it since the last video. I did change the bed, it's now more rigid. I got, well, I got some extra layers of um, uh, spring steel and stuff. This is actually, we're on like the third layer now. The first layer was just completely perfectly flat. You can see on this sides here, the brim where it hasn't been, this is um, all infill in the middle here. Sorry for the zooming. I might not have my flow tuned perfectly. This is still like the third print on this. But the leveling was perfect. Like I can, uh, the leveling, the part I was actually testing with that contact nozzle bed sensor um, was just perfect. So I don't know what else to say. It looks like it works. This is with no nothing holding the head down. I mean, I'll do it for a second, but yeah, see, if you pull it up, it goes up. And you can see the little defect it made there. But it takes a lot of force to do that, and I don't think during normal printing that it's going to move up. You can, I really don't think that it's an issue at all. You can see right there is where that defect where I lifted it up for a second. But otherwise, it's not going up like that. The force of 200 grams on that tiny little nozzle is a lot of force. Oh yeah, maybe this this is a way I can explain it to people too, the force that it creates, is that while I was, I don't have a video of it, but when I was testing it earlier, I had the Z too low for various reasons, like I didn't have configurations correct and it wasn't, you know, it was, it was trying to print with the nozzle banging into the bed and all the weight of this head is resting on the nozzle and it would actually stop the extruder. Like just the weight from this thing without any springs additional was enough to stop, make the extruder start skipping steps just because it couldn't force filament out onto the bed. Even though it could have moved up three millimeters if there was room, but just the weight of the thing itself was enough to stop the nozzle. So I, I think that that right there proves that there's no reason to have more force if the nozzle can't even force out plastic beyond what is capable um, at the current force level. So, yeah. Any more questions, feel free to ask them.